Hi guys, welcome to Core Artisan Lab. This is video number 52 for learning MS system in Django with React JS. In this video, we are going to work on the student detail page, right? So currently I am in the teacher dashboard and uh, in the previous video we have seen that how uh, we have created the rating system, right? So in the teacher dashboard, uh, student uh, can see the you know the the total enrolled students like uh, here you can see that the the enrolled uh, counting so when we click on the course this is this will show the all uh, list of students right now i am going to do what i am going to do when we click on the view it will show the detail of the student right so let's see and also we will also show the rating here also okay so what's rating of the course we will show in the teacher dashboard also okay so let's do this two things okay so let's perform the first thing the first thing we will do we will show the student detail okay so let's click here and uh, it's showing the name email and username uh, let's see that what we have for the student i mean what's uh, other data for the students okay so this is our main this is our uh, models.py file and let's create a student so we have full name email password username interested categories okay so i think we can show uh, we don't need to create any other page we can show the interested category in this table as well and uh, just uh, remove this uh, view button so i think this will be the detail of the student right so we don't need to create any other page i think okay so let's uh, click let's go to the front end uh, source component and uh, user no not user a uh, teacher enrolled student list dot js right and here we have so we will remove this uh, button right and uh, from the here we will show interested categories the name of the field interested categories right so here we are okay so interested categories are python and flask right so we can do also we can do one thing we can link this when the user click on this it will show the uh, you know the list of uh, that particular uh, interested uh, particular categories and here we will say interested categories so why this i think uh, we can reduce our page and uh, yes okay so name email username and python and flask we don't need this link actually because uh, we are not going anywhere from from here okay yes but we can link this uh, you know the categories not now but we will do that okay so the next task the next task is uh, we will show the rating in this uh, teacher dashboard okay teacher dashboard course okay okay so let's show the rating so first of all we will open our um, where is the course course list where is the course list teacher courses i think yes teacher courses and here we have right and this is total enrolled name after the name we can show the rating right so after this uh, let's say we have uh, let's check this that how it will look uh, this and uh, we can show the rating let's see how we have shown the rating in our you know the course detail page course detail find rating average rating course rating mm -hmm. course rating so we have all the data of the course let's see the rating fetch rating status oh, oh it's rating status but we need rating so average rating 
okay we are calculating the rating let's go to the course and let's go to course here course rating and from course rating average rating right so core teacher courses let's define course dot title so course dot course rating dot average rating let's see okay so let's open our console and let's see how what's happening here course rating is null okay so here we are defining average rating uh, just a minute here we have let's define this actually uh, uh, the same way we have did in uh, we did in the course detail page so let's define this so by default average rating will be zero right and after that after loading the data uh, we will say uh, set average rating here if this set course data we will say not equal to zero then we will set the average rating here set average rating data course rating right and uh, then we can show the rating average rating here right okay so this will work right so it's showing zero 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 average rating it means it is not fetching teacher courses and uh, let's go to course rating teacher courses and we are using the same way and let's define here average rating let's define here 10 let's see how we have zero teacher courses set average rating data rating teacher courses if we go to the url teacher course list in our view course serializer get query set teacher id list create if course serializer yeah everything is fine course detail course detail where is course uh, course serializer course serializer course we have we are defining the course rating okay teacher course yeah it should show the rating okay let's see okay so here we have uh, we need to understand this we are not fetching the single result okay so this this is providing the list of results okay so we cannot uh, fetch this uh, directly okay so we don't need this actually okay i have uh, added this wrongly so what i will do here course course and here we will say course dot course rating right so it will show the rating of the course you can see that right so here you can see that four three two whatever it is from five and here we will say rating right so rating one from five zero from five we can say if let's say course rating course rating and then we will return this right let's add a span tag for this here we are okay if not then what we will do 
if not then we will show zero here we will show zero okay so one from five zero from five zero zero okay later we will show the stars okay so i think this is awesome we uh, we did this so now we can see the you know the detail of the student right and uh, i have just added the interested categories here and uh, we can see we have almost uh, done everything that is major now we need to fix now we need to complete the teacher dashboard and the student dashboard right uh, this is scores and this is my user in my user you can sh we can show the student list actually we don't need this or we can say we can show here the st all the enrolled student list currently we are showing the student list according to the course here we, we will show all the enrolled student list okay this is profile setting and uh, change password so this uh, these little things are pending so we will complete this soon and uh, I hope in the next video we will complete we try to complete the teacher dashboard and uh, then next video we will try to complete the user dashboard right so thank you so much for watching this video and please uh, you know share subscribe like this channel and uh, uh, support me via razor pay or paypal okay so here here is the channel and uh, you can also join the membership just send me your email id i will give you the code for uh, any of the source code okay if you join the membership and uh, this is my code artisan lab so code artisan lab we can show here and all the repositories here you can see that all the repositories i have you can see that right so thank you so much for watching this video Okay, let's meet in the next video. Thank you.